This is very beautiful. This is uh, incredible. Oh, it's working? Oh, nice. Damage done. Today we are in Tartaria, I mean uh, Barcelona, and I am going to explore the city. But before I do that, I feel like I need to buy something because Christian Louboutin is my, my favorite shop. And it's impossible for me to walk past this shop without going inside and at least taking a look at the stuff inside. So let's go in and see what they have. All right, guys, my favorite store. Let's see if we can find something beautiful. Actually, everything I see here is very beautiful. This looks trippy. Wow, it almost changes color when you change it like this. Personally, it's not my style. I would not buy these, but I will still appreciate the, the, the beauty. This is very classic. It's like a classic Christian Louboutin. Red sole. Very nice. Yeah. But some of these you already have, right? I do have too many already, yeah. What are you wearing today? Yeah. These are very used though, but these are my, my travel shoes because when I travel in the plane, I can just take them on and off very easy like this, you know. These I never saw before, looks new. They look like a basketball shoe, shoe or something from the side. Yeah, so they look really cool, but again, this is not really my style, I would say. Um, looks cool. But I have too many shoes, man. It's, it's, it's getting crazy. Last time I was in Christian Louboutin, I asked them actually, how many shoes did I buy? How many did they say? I think 30? 30 pairs, yeah. In my account, you can see that I bought 30 pairs. So this is uh, Monaco yacht style. <laughs> uh, it's a week too late. Yeah, exactly. You should go and check that vlog, guys, when we were in Monaco. Monaco was crazy. Well, look at this, this is a nice bag. This is very beautiful. This is uh, incredible. Okay, so I think this is really beautiful. It matches actually what I have now. And it has the spikes, I love spikes. I must say spikes are my thing. And I do have some white um, shoes to match this with, so this could really make sense. Actually this, look at that. Look at that. That would be crazy. That would be crazy, actually. The bottom? Oh, yeah, this is, yeah. This is cool. Yeah, this is like, um, it's the same material as under here. Louboutin. It's very nice, very detailed. Yeah. Nice I think it's amazing. I like it. Quanto cuesta? I think, did I say that correctly? Quanto cuesta? It's how, how much? Yeah, I know a little bit of Russian, a little bit of French and English and Swedish, but uh, unfortunately Spanish is not my strong side. Okay, so I think this is a huge maybe, leading towards the yes side. And I'm gonna guess it's 3,000 euros approximately. Oh. Then it's a yes. Can I have one in white and blue? And... No, I think uh, one is enough, but that is in fact less than I thought. In, in Europe, it's always cheaper than in Dubai. It's like 30% uh, more expensive in uh, Dubai. Excuse me, uh, how much for this? 895 euros, let me double check. Mm. You're fully Spanish? No. Russian? I'm, uh, no, Moldova. Moldova, okay. Yeah, I'm from there. Nice. It's 895, sorry. 895 euros. euros. Yes. Okay. Um, I like them, they're very cool. So. If I get both, it's less than 3,000 then. I, I knew, by the way, she was uh, from an Eastern European country. I, yeah, I can see it from, from a mile away. Okay, I think um, maybe I just focus on this one. Maybe we can take a quick look here. This looks cool, but a um, little bit edgy, in my opinion, a little bit too crazy. Um, I don't know. No, on, in this section, I'm not sure. Looks cool, but um, the green. looks cool. But then you have to really match it with something, you know. Matching is everything, and I think this matches already quite well with my shoes, right? Okay. Amazing. Do you have your passport? Do you have the new oh, nice. Oh, so this is a new one, yes. Never touched. Incredible. I actually always wanted to buy one for years, I just never bought one, but now finally. It's very nice. 
color is very summery. And yeah, and it matches my, my shoes I have right now. Exactly. I love this collection, the Ruby Shark. They are super yeah. comfortable. Exactly. I can walk like tens of thousands of steps yeah, yeah. every day and no issues. No, no, I have the same in the black and white. And yeah. It's not the same model, but it's the same uh, last, yeah, yeah. so they are amazing. Perfect. Actually, I think I can just wear it. Makes sense. I might as well wear it, right? So how do you say it? Quanto cuesta? Quanto cuesta? Yeah, that's it? Ah, muy bien, muy bien. So you how, long you how long you live in uh, Spain? 16 years. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay, but you speak Moldovian? Yes, I speak Romanian and uh, yeah, in, in Moldova the people also speak Russian. Ah, yeah, I yeah. understand Russian, but ah, me too. it's not my first language. Меня зовут Карл. Меня зовут Дойна. Ah, очень приятно. Очень приятно. Nice. And uh, my beautiful... This was the first uh, Louboutin wallet it's I bought. It's really nice also. Yeah. With our iconic style. Yes. But it's very old. Look, it's getting... Uh, <laughs> yes, but you know... I had it five years, I think. It's good, because the quality is good and... Yeah, it's incredible. I guess it was the first... Was it the first item you ever bought from Louboutin? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was the first... Yeah. yeah. So very historic. <laughs> yeah, either this or the first, the, the black shoes. But I bought them at on this, the same year, like five, six years ago, second hand. Yeah, to visualize my future. Yeah, actually, so I, I bought this uh, like five, six years ago, second hand, to, to like visualize the law of attraction, to be able to buy uh, Christian Louboutin like nothing. Look now, you have a lot of pieces. <laughs> Yay, exactly. So it works, law of attraction. Как тебя зовут? Как тебя зовут? Меня зовут Дойна. 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 Вы? Карл. Карл. Exactly. Nice to meet you. You too. Oh, it's working? Oh, nice. Damage done. So how much was it in total? We 1,990. Okay, it's okay. So enjoy. Gracias, Doina. Muchas gracias. Now I will look cool while traveling. Cooler. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Bye bye. I think it looks really cool. Not that I can see it from that perspective, but I just imagine it looks very nice. Oh. <laughs> These shoes are horrible for that. Okay, I think it's uh, job done. Let's check out this building and the Rolex. Personally, I'm in no need of a Rolex right now, but these are cool. By the way, guys, I'm giving away a Rolex. If you haven't seen that video where I'm giving away a Rolex to you guys, you have to go check it out right now. Link down below, you'll see here. So you should check that out if you want a free Rolex Submariner. But look at this building, man. It's like absolutely incredible how, how the Tartarians were able to build so beautiful buildings like this. And uh, today they build shoe boxes. Now, but look at that. Incredible, but let's find more architecture um, because I think it's uh, just um, very mind-blowing. Let, let's check it out. This is a great example of a beautiful Tartarian old house. And this building has these insane artistic features. Look at the, the, the details. But more importantly, after the big mud flood, the, um, the, the buildings are all below ground. These pillars are not supposed to be this small. They're supposed to be very long, right? It's very strange. And they added these things to make it seem like it was supposed to be like that. It's funny. They don't build like that anymore, do they? So here are the windows below ground. It's very interesting. So just a great example of these old Tartarian buildings are all uh, below ground after the big mud flood. So like four or five meters, maybe even 10 meters down, you could see these buildings um, go down there. So we can dig them out if we want to. Let's find more beautiful architecture, guys. This is also a very nice building. It's just so beautiful. It's just perfect. Like, you know, it's really perfection. It's like the detail, the quality as well. I mean, these buildings are, are so old. We're talking like it, it could be hundreds of years ago, right? But it's still standing there as if it was built just a few weeks ago. They could clean it a little bit better. That's true. But, uh, but the, the, the quality is there for sure. Let's compare that with a modern building. Actually, we have a modern building there. Looks so boring. <laughs> so 
So I like this building because it's, it has all of these conducting uh, things on the roof to harness the energy from, from the ether. Very beautiful. You know what, Benji, why don't we go and try to find one of the like main energy stations from, uh, from the city, from the past. Like a crazy one, like the- Big ones. Yeah, like the biggest one that just harnessed, harnessed all the energy. I want to find one of those. Okay, I found the main energy station here. Imagine how much energy that could be harnessed from, from this device or, or building. Let's go closer. Hi, man. That is crazy. It's, it's just mind blowing. So today, if you ask best uh, builders in the world, they will not be able to build this. If you tell them to build this now, they will just tell you, uh, why, even, why even try? So the details are crazy. Imagine this precision they have here, just down here. And that's just here, but if you go up, you have the same precision up there, even though no one will ever see that because it, it's, so, it's so high, but they still have the precision everywhere. I think it's really crazy. So if you look right here, it's crazy. Even there, the details are absolutely insane, but no one would ever, I, like you cannot go and check the details because it's too far up. It's so sad we don't uh, have the technology anymore to do this. I just want to have a time machine and go back to Tartaria and, and, and see how they built this stuff, you know? I don't know, like 3D printing this stuff. I'm sure they, you think they use the 3D printer? <laughs> Let me know in the comments, guys. Should I buy a uh, Tartarian um, apartment? Because in Dubai, you don't have them at all. Incredible. I love Barcelona. It's so beautiful. Shout out to all of you guys living in uh, Tartar, uh, Barcelona. I, I love your city. Some nice chemtrails. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Let's see if we can reach 5,000 likes and leave a comment down below what you think about this video and all of the secrets that I revealed and click this video popping up right here and I'll see you over there. Bye-bye.